Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. This week, we are talking about when God speaks. We can be so challenged by the fact that Jesus himself came down from heavenly form as God into human form here on earth. And so although he had the full power of God himself being God in human form, he also took the parameters of the human form and its limitations. It's incredible to see that Jesus found it valuable, if not purposeful, if not necessary, to spend time with God. You'd think if anybody had an excuse to not pray, it'd be Jesus, right? But we actually see Jesus time and time and time again throughout the Gospels, taking time and going to a specific place to spend time with his Father. Just want to read two of those examples to you today from the book of Mark. In Mark chapter 1 specifically, Beginning in verse 35, it says this, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and when they found him, they exclaimed, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, Let us go somewhere else to the nearby villages so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. Here we see an example of Jesus getting up before anyone else. You could say when the house is quiet and the sun hadn't quite come up, and he goes off to a place by himself, and he spends time in the presence of God, talking to his father. We see that he went about the deals of the day. He had ministry to do, things to do. The people are like, where are you? But he made that a priority first to talk to God. If you flip just a little bit to chapter 6 in the same book of Mark, I want to read to you specifically um, verses 45 and 46. Mark 6, 45 and 46. Oh, i got to flip one more page. All right. It says this. And this is right after Jesus was doing ministry of feeding the 5,000. Okay. He's had a day. He's already done a lot. Listen to what it says. Immediately, verse 45, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. So here we see the opposite end of the spectrum. First verses I read to you, we see Jesus getting up before he exerted the energy of the day, before he did ministry, and he spent time with God. Here we see after he had done ministry, he still went away to spend time with God, to be refreshed and replenished pretty incredible this model that Jesus gives us about the importance of taking time and finding a place to get alone with God. I want to give you a challenging thought today. You see, you don't have to make an appointment with God to make sure that he's going to show up. We talked yesterday about how God is with us at all times. When we simply turn our thoughts to him or our words to him, he's there, he's listening, he's eager to have conversation with you. So why did Jesus go to a specific place at a specific time and set that time aside to spend with God? I think we can learn something from that. You see, we don't have to have a time and a place to get God's attention. But when we have a time and a place, God gets our attention. When we're intentional with our time with the Lord, we actually have an opportunity to focus on God without the distractions of a day. And I'm not going to tell you where that time or place needs to be. You really have to see what works for you. It might be fluid like Jesus. There might be sometimes when it's early in the morning, others when it's in the afternoon, evening, in between a job. What I, I don't know. This isn't legalism. But it's important for us to intentionally take time eliminating distractions and spend time with God so that we can hear his voice. Do you have a time? Do you have a place where you feel the closest to God? Where you set aside and made it a priority to spend that time with God, to commune with one another, to have conversation, aspects of talking, praying, aspects of listening and discerning his voice. I encourage you today, I encourage you this week to pick a time and pick a place and go off into a solitary place with the Lord and see how he'll rejuvenate you, how he'll direct you, how he'll correct you, how he'll encourage you how he'll be with you. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.